What up, y'all? It's T-Biz and... Overlord. Of Overlord Toy Reviews and Productions and uh, whatever else. Other other, other other ventures he's into. But um, my brother and Toy Crime, we're going to uh, review this figure, uh, Double Duty, today. We're kind of having a, um, a, a, a tag team on this figure, so to speak. Um, this is a Robot Reaper. Uh, from the worst action figure line, which I've said is the best action figure line from Super 7 uh, compared to like some of the He-Man stuff and until I get the, the uh, Street Fighter stuff. But anyways, Aliens, they've done so much stuff. They've done a lot of stuff. Iron you... Maiden. Yeah, when that comes out, that's going to be hecka cool. But um, yeah, Super 7, Super 7, man, really, really cool. Um, we're going to take a look at the back of the packaging real quick as usual um, to get going. And uh, yeah, there are good guys, there are bad guys, then there are the worst, which like I said... Who are the good guys? I don't know. We haven't seen the best. Maybe that. Maybe that's what they're going to do is the best. So Super 7, if you're watching this, let's see the best. Let's see who the, the cheesy good guys are going to be. <laughs> if we get like a Thundar guy or He-Man, like we already got He-Man, but we, we need somebody like that on that side. Like an Aryan swordsman guy or maybe like a Conan guy, like Rip Off or something would be pretty barbarian. cool. Barbarian. Yeah, like some kind of barbarian yeah. would be cool. Or and her space, man, everybody. But anyways, you got uh, Snake Tut, Gas Phantom, um, a.k.a. Overlord's dad. <laughs> and um, Black Falcon, Robot Reaper, Batula, or Scott Batula. And then uh, X2, the unknown, parentheses. And then, like I said before, you got a cool little homage to the um, General Mills logo on the back of the packaging, which has a just cheesy fake proof of purchase for a Robot Reaper. Which I wonder if you did cut these out. Super 7, what's up? Can we cut these out and send them to you? These, these $90 figure sets? <laughs> cut it out and send it to you and get something cool? But um, yeah, Super 7, Super 7 Store.com, Super 7 HQ.com. There's their little Instagram-y logo. And the art is done by the famous uh, Ed Repka, metal artist. Um, he's done stuff for like Megadeth, like record covers, uh, Death. Who else, Overlord? Municipal Waste. Yeah, that's another good band. Um, Rat Child America. And um, I can't think of anybody else, but I know I've got some more underground stuff. But new old school thrash, he's done some cool artwork. Really good stuff. Um, and Overlord, why do, you, why do you like the Robot Reaper, the Harbinger of Death? Well, Black Sabbath fans may remember Dio, who was uh, mm -hmm. the singer in the 90s. A little bit. There's an album called Dehumanizer, and he looks like the Robot Reaper on the cover of that album. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why they did that. Yeah, it could could very well be. Very similar. I mean, it's the Robot Reaper for Carnival. Okay, well said, well put. But yeah, now well, let's uh, look at this figure. He looks pretty sick. Uh, this one's a different color variation. He's all in red, which is pretty cool. Let me uh, focus in here a little bit. He's all in red. He's got a red and black scythe, which is pretty cool. So he can go, uh, guess, uh, thresh his fields or hand cut his wheat or whatever. So his wheat or whatever. Or, his, or, his, kill, or, kill, or kill some mofos, as uh, Overlord says. And he can also, he's also pointing. So he could be pointing at you that you are the next to die by his robotic death touch. Or either that or he's just disco dancing the night away. So he's just putting on the old Victrola and, you know, going, just jamming. Yeah, he's, he's, just, he's, just, he's just up and down with the disco. Robotic disco. But anyways, um, he's pretty cool. His, his face sculpt is pretty weird, pretty corny, but still cool. Um, the paint scheme on here, I don't think, pretty much represents his roboticness. But it is kind of almost close to, I guess, the colors you might want to use on the artwork, but not really. But um, he's still cool. He's still one of my favorites. Still one of the prime reasons why I bought this figure. Um, and he, once again, five points of articulation. He's got kind of like an Emperor Palpatine thing going with his, uh, or, or a sand person thing going. Sand people, Tusken Raider thing going with his little robe. And he's got his, uh, it's funny because he's got robotic reaper, I guess, a sandal on or something, or whatever, you know, and um, and he's kind of like um, uh, was it uh, was it uh, was it Sharon or Sharon or Charn or whatever from uh, Clash of the Titans, Con Con Charon or whatever, yeah, like the the ferryman. I'm bad at pronunciation yeah, sometimes so. in my old age, but anyways, but yeah, still a cool figure, still awesome, and um, 
Before we're done with this review, I wanted to look, because if you look at the paint scheme on this version, I think that's more like dead on or spot on for, for a Robot Reaper. It looks like there's some copper, some brown in there, or some silver. That's a cool paint job. But I'm going to stop whining because he's still cool to have. And he looks really, really cool with this um, with this red robe on and stuff. Like he could be a cool robotic monk of death making wine and being very religious and pious. But anyways, uh, let's look at Robot Reaper. So I'm coming for you. But um, yeah. Once again, thanks for watching stuff, and uh, go to Super7.com, Super7 store, or whatever, and uh, you can get these figures. They're 90 bucks for the whole set, but hey, Super7, you should sell these individually, because some people like to have them individually, and not probably spend 90 bucks, because if they don't have the money. <laughs> me. Yeah, him, yeah. But uh, thanks again for watching. This has been me, myself, T-Biz, and... Uh, Overlord. Overlord of Overlord Toy Reviews. Reviewing the Robot Reaver Robotic Harbinger of Death from The Worst by Super 7. Thank you. Bye.